Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Kreenak coming at you with another video. Um, today, we are going to be doing a tier list for uh, Apex Legends Season 8 weapons. We're going to start it off with my favorite gun in the game, the Creeper. We're going to put that as an S just because it's my favorite gun. Because when I get it, people just fall to the ground, you know? So, <laughs> S tier for me, at least. Due to how often you get this gun in the game, I'm going to put this at like a A. Because it's super, it's super powerful. I think it's the best shotgun in the game. Maybe besides the EVA. Now to the EVA. I'm going to give this a B because I don't want to put it in the same tier as the uh, Peacekeeper. But, um, so yeah. I'm going to put it at B. When you got a purple bolt on this thing, it's nuts. Insane. The Stiffy. I'm going to give this one a D. I mean, it's really good, yes. But in my opinion, the Stiffy is only really good for like, Gibby's. And playing like with the ADS arm shield. Other than that, it, it's like risk versus reward on the Eva 8 and the Stiffy. I would prefer an Eva over a Stiffy. Mozambique, if you have hammer points, I could say this shit is nuts, especially when you break someone's armor. Holy smokes. It, it lights them up. So I'm gonna give it a C. I want a shotgun in each tier. <laughs> the triple take, it's uh, I'd say triple take would be around B tier. It's a nuts ass sniper. But it does not beat the Sentinel. The Sentinel is definitely an, S an A tier uh, sniper. I would say the longbow as well would go around B tier with the uh, with the triple take. Charge rifle, just because I hate it so much and it should not even be in the game. I'm gonna put it at an E. And the longbow, I'm gonna give it uh, the same as the triple take. Um, wait. Oh, that's a gold longbow. Okay. Mm, that's with we're gonna give that an A that's with the uh, skull piercer so I just realized it's got the ones with the hammer points okay so that makes sense now we're gonna put this at F tier and then this at C tier there we go let's see the Devo without turbocharger <laughs> D tier with turbocharger A tier 100% that shit melts on both but the amount of time it takes to rev it up without a turbocharger, it's, it's trash. The Havoc, F tier. I hate the Havoc, but maybe with a turbocharger, I could see it being C tier. The L-Star? I don't know. I'm iffy on B and C. The L-Star is honestly pretty good. It's just uh, it's just weird to me. Like, the gun itself is weird. I'm going to give it a B, but, you know. Flatline, I'm giving it an S tier. I love the Flatline. Flatline is, in, is definitely insane. Hemlock, I'm going to give it C tier. Spitfire, just because of how broken it is, it's got to be S tier. Like it's that gun just literally just melts. It's so so nuts. The wingman, I'm gonna give it B tier. I love the wingman. I want to give it A or S tier, but in my opinion, those two are a lot better guns over the wingman. The scout is A tier. Uh, as long as you have a sight on it, the wingman with skull piercer, I'll give it an A, just because. Uh, R301, S tier. Alternator, B tier. This is the re. B tier, P2020, F tier, P2020, hammer points, fucking S tier, that shit beams. The Volt, I'm gonna give this an A tier, definitely an A tier. The Volt's a nuts gun. I'm actually gonna give the, the Devotion, no, nah, Devotion, yeah, we're putting it back up here. Prowler, we're gonna go with, I'm gonna go S tier. That Especially if it's in the hands of a controller player, that shit is nuts. The R99, I'm gonna give it an A. And the Wii Man with, I, I don't really notice anything with it, so I'm just going to give it the same as the, the regular Wii Man. Doesn't do much to me. The Flatline is still going to be S tier when it has the, uh, the, 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 I can't remember what it's called from the top of my head. Anvil Receiver, finally. Same with R301. Jesus, I could not, I could not think of it to save my life. Holy smokes. Uh, the Re45 is still just going to be D tier. Uh, it doesn't really do much for me for that. The 3030 repeater, I would definitely put it at an A tier uh, because it's not quite. Uh, wait, actually, I'm going to put a B tier, my bad. It's not quite as good as the Scout. I mean, it's really good. Um, don't get me wrong. Ah, fuck it. No, I think it's. I think if you have a. Um, even hand, even iron sight on this one's pretty good. If you have like an extended clip, this gun is nuts. So 
This is my Apex Legends Season 8 Weapons tier list, you know? This is gonna be what I think the tier, the weapons are like and my tiers for the weapons. Y'all may have different opinions in mine, so if y'all do, leave your lists like in the comments or whatever. Like, let me know what you think should be like where, like what weapons should be where. Anyways, thank y'all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe. Turn notifications on for the next time we upload a video. Thank you. Peace.